Welcome! Today you are going to need a block and a strap. We have some deep stretches today at a slow pace. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. All right, go ahead and set your mat up parallel to your TV. Sit back on those heels and open up those knees. Draw in through that belly and we're going to forward fold here, extending those arms out nice and long but keeping our chest and our forehead off the mat. I want you to press up into your fingertips here. Open up the shoulder. Lean your chest a little bit closer to that mat. And then slowly through your waist, rock side to side. Think about wanting to drop your shoulder towards the mat. As you rotate through, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, open to the side. Work through this at your own pace. We're gonna go ahead and hold center, press our full hand into the mat, draw up through that belly, and round forward into cat pose. Extend down through those shoulders and lift into cow. And you can either stay here or drop your hips and lift your chest, stretching the front of the body. Core nice and tight. We're going to draw up through those hips, sit back in our heels, and lift into those fingertips, rock side to side again. Again, every time we come back to this, try to get that shoulder to open a tad more and get those abdominals a little bit tighter. Go ahead and hold neutral spine. Press your full hand into the mat. Draw up through that belly again. Round forward into cat. Release into cow. And then the option to stay here or press the hips forward. Opening the chest. Draw the shoulder blades down here. Big breath in. Exhale, draw up. We're going to do that one more time. Sit back in those heels. Lift those fingers. Rock side to side for me. Go ahead and press into those hands. Roll forward to cat. But this time we're going to release to cow only. And then find neutral spine here. Go ahead and pull those knees under those hips and sit back in your hips. Take those hands outside of those mats and we're gonna drop one shoulder to the mat, looking up with your eyes and switch sides and look up. Again, opening the front of the shoulder here. You're gonna give me two more, one on each side and hold center. Walk those hands back into tabletop, shoulders under those hands, tuck your toes, and press up into your down dog. Sit back in your heels here, give yourself just a moment. We're gonna take that right leg first, lift it straight up. Roll forward, bend that right knee, come forward and set it down. Hands to the inside of your right leg. Drop your knee to the mat, relax your back foot, lift your chest. Think about dropping your, your left hip closer to the mat here. Give those inner thighs just a moment to relax. We're going to go ahead and tuck our toes under here, lift our hips up, and pivot on that back foot, taking our hands off our mat at an angle. I want you to sit back in your hips here and then rock forward. Press back. Open up the inner thighs. You're going to give me one more big push back and we're going to hold it there. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, drop your elbows a little closer to that mat and release into the tension. Go ahead and press into those fingertips. Pivot on that back foot. Come all the way over that right knee. Straddle it. Press back in your heel. 
brought forward to toes. Working on some ankle mobility here. Good. Press back into that heel and hold. Now, we're gonna think about bringing the front heel and the back toes together. So slide them in like you're on roller skates. Core tight, bend that back knee and lift up strong. Inhale, open the chest. On your exhale, let's take those arms down to the inside. Press your hips up, walk those feet so they are now parallel and go all the way over to the other side. Drop into your knee, lift your chest. Take a moment here. Allow the other hip to start to open. Is it relaxing yet? I know in the beginning when you first do those stretches, you're like, ooh. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, pivot on that back foot, hands come off your mat at that angle. Rock back and press forward. Allow the stretch to happen. Inhale, exhale, press. We're gonna hold the press back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drop the belly button towards the floor. Just hold here. Don't fight that tension. Big breath, rise up. We're gonna pivot on that back foot, straddle your leg, rock back in your heel, forward to toes. Let that ankle open up. Hold back in your ankle here. Lift, bend that back knee, open the chest. And on your exhale, come forward, hands to the inside, press up into your hips, pivot back forward all the way around to the top of your mat. Step back and drop into your child's pose. Nice and easy, roll on up into tabletop. Shoulders right over those hands. You're gonna tuck your toes under and press up easy into your down dog. Sink into your heels here. Maybe walk it out if you need to. Go ahead and drop into your heel, press into your fingertips. We're gonna pick up that right leg first. Extend up into your three-legged dog. Keep those hips nice and square. Big breath. On your exhale, we're gonna roll forward, take that knee with us all the way across body. Touch the opposite elbow and then press it back up. Hold. This time though, I want you to bend that right knee and then lift it a little higher. Inhale, exhale, roll forward, take that knee to the same side elbow. Little tap, press back up. Push, bend your knee, lift it a little higher. Inhale, exhale, roll forward, knee to nose, round your back here, and then set your foot down. Good, big breath. This is where those blocks may come in handy for you. You're gonna press forward and pick up that back leg. Now as you do that, find your balance here, square those hips. Drop your head, lift that back leg up a little bit higher. Maybe point those toes. Inhale deep. And on that exhale, set your foot down by your other one. Give me a nice little half lift here. Inhale deep. Exhale, hands to your mat and step back into your plank. We're gonna draw up through that belly, finding your down dog. Try to get those heels a little closer to the mat. Take that left leg up this time. Big breath. Exhale, bend it, bring it forward all the way across body. Tap the opposite elbow. And then extend it up. Reach long, bend your knee. Lift it a little higher. Inhale. Exhale, roll forward. Knee to same side. Press back up, slow and controlled. Bend your knee, lift it a little higher. Roll forward, knee to nose, round your back. Set your foot down, 
This is where those blocks come in. Grab them, extend all the way up, find your balance, and then drop your chest, lift your back leg. Find that length. Inhale deep. On your exhale, set your foot down by your other. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, hands down. Step back into your plank. And sit back, child's pose. Okay. Nice and easy roll forward. Tuck your toes under here and walk your feet to your hands. We're going to sit back in those heels and roll all the way up. Shoulder roll here. Let's take that right leg forward, left leg goes back, and we find our lunge position. Press your arms up, inhale strong. Exhale, press them away and back and down. I want you to imagine you have a block that you're trying to touch back there. Squeeze the upper back. Inhale deep. Exhale, let's press up, lift your arms. Exhale, take it down. Do it again, inhale up. Exhale, hold down, hover that back knee off the floor. Now go ahead and hinge forward here. Press into that back heel. Core strong, we still got tension in those arms. We're gonna press all our weight forward and rise up nice and easy into your warrior three. Lengthen through your front leg here. Taking the tension in that front right, I want you to bend, finding a nice squat. Set your back foot down and rise back up into your lunge. Inhale deep, exhale, press away. We're gonna take all that tension and power us back. Here we go, finding balance. That right leg is now up. Big breath here. Exhale, let's hinge forward. Extend your back leg. Finding the length from the back heel to the crown of your head. On your exhale, you're gonna reach forward and find the floor. Yes, you can. You don't need blocks here, we are warm. Keeping that back leg up, walk those hands out. Find your three-legged dog. Press into your heel, lift that right leg a little higher. Inhale, exhale, step your right leg down by your left and walk out your down dog. Walk your feet to your hands, sit back in your heels and roll it on up. All right, we're gonna switch it here. Take that left foot forward, right foot back. Drop down in it, find your lunge. Press up through those fingertips, chest is lifted. Inhale. On that exhale, press back and down. Find the tension in your upper back. Here we go, rise, inhale. Exhale, press back and down. Do it again, press up. On your exhale, take it down, but hover that back knee and hinge forward, lengthening from the back heel all the way to the crown. Little push back, float on up into your warrior three. There it is, it's okay, take your time. Embrace the wiggle, the shake, the strength. Take that front leg, find a little squat. Bend your back knee, set it down, rise up. Inhale to your lunge. Exhale, press back and down. You ready? Power back. Finding the balance here. You have to put that foot down, do it. Inhale deep, lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, hinge forward. Hold here. Can you flex that back foot this time? Lengthening all the way from your heel to your head. On your exhale, reach your arms to the floor. Pick that back leg up a little higher. Point those toes and walk your hands out, finding your three-legged dog. Good, drop into your heel, lift your leg a little higher. Don't fight it. 
relax into it. On your next exhale, bend that left leg, set it down by your right. Walk out your dog here. We're gonna slowly roll forward into our plank. Find plank position here. Sink into your heels, lengthen, tuck your hips. Good, press the floor away. You've got it. We're gonna take that right leg. Let's start with our left. Pick up that left leg and bring it through. Set it down into pigeon. All right, we have a deep pigeon hold. I want you to take your time here getting down to your elbows. You have about three minutes on just this side. We're gonna take the first minute and just relax our hip. Relax your face. If you can, get really low. Let your chest rest on your thigh. And then we're gonna get deep into a twist. So it's important that you really release the hip joint here. There's that correlation between your face tension and the tension in your hips. So allow all the tension in your face to go and just melt into that hip. On your next exhale, I want you to press back into those elbows. And we're gonna lift our head, lift our hands, Rise up, placing those knuckles down on the mat, lift your chest, draw the shoulder blades down, opening the hip, next exhale, we're going to peel back down, it's time to get a little deeper here, we're going to take the right arm through and drop the right shoulder to the mat, relaxing your head. Just settle in here. Don't worry, it'll get a little bit deeper. We're gonna take that left arm this time and lift it straight up and hold. So you have the option to skip any of this. You can stay in regular pigeon. Take that palm, face it away from you. Bend your elbow and take that hand all the way back and try to grab a hold of your hip. Open the shoulder joint. You have about 30 seconds here to just settle in. Maybe close those eyes. Slow your breath. Make sure that the tension in the hip is gone. Sometimes we're holding tension and we don't even know. So really try to melt into it. Go ahead and take that left arm. Lift it straight up. And on your exhale, bend it, place it down on your mat, and slowly peel yourself up. Placing those hands down, you're going to tuck your toes under. Take your time getting out of this. Step back into your down dog and walk it out. We're going to go ahead and sit down in those heels. Roll forward. We're going to take our right leg, step it forward. Extend our hips up and walk our hands center, finding a wide leg forward fold. Drop that chest low. You might want to rock side to side here. We're going to inhale, lift our chest, and walk those hands all the way to the back of the mat. Pivot on your foot and step back into your plank. Time to stretch the other side. Go ahead and pick up that right leg, bring it through, and sit back. Drop into your elbows. Take a moment. Again, the tension in the face. Let it go. If you can get low on that thigh and let your head rest, even better. As your head is down here, try to let your cheeks completely relax to where you can feel gravity pull on them. And as you inhale, I want you to find the point of tension in your hip. 
And as you exhale, visualize it leaving. Let it go. And see if you notice the shift in your hip here. We're gonna take a big breath in. And on your exhale, lift your head. Press into those elbows and rise up. Placing those knuckles down on the mat. Lift your chest. Squeeze your upper back. Lengthen the spine. Prep those hips to get a little deeper. Go ahead and come back down to your elbows. And we're gonna take that left arm through and drop into our shoulder. Take a moment here. I know when you first get into this, it's a little, a little tense. Go ahead and take that right arm, extend it up. Palm faces away. Bend your elbow, try to grab that hip. And then once you can get a hold of that hip, really squeeze the upper back. It's gonna open the front of that shoulder. Maybe close those eyes again. Visualize the tension and then relax into it. On your next exhale, take that right arm, extend it up and then release it down. Press into your mat, slowly start to rise. Tuck your toes under, take time getting out of this. Press back into your plank and then lift to your down dog. You're gonna roll forward, taking that left leg with you. Press into those hips, pivot forward and wide leg forward fold. Good, tent those hands down on the floor, lift your chest and then exhale down a little more. Go ahead and tent those fingers, lift your chest again, and heel toe those feet together. Sit back in your heels, bend those knees, and roll it on up. Go ahead and grab your strap here. We're gonna come down to the mat on one knee. So your right knee will be forward. Your strap is gonna be held by those arms, and they're gonna be Hands are going to be slightly wider than their shoulders. Take that strap straight up for me. Tuck your hips under. Squeeze those low abdominals. Now we're going to add a little side bend here. Pressing into that left hip. Opening the shoulders. Opening the chest and the side of the body. It is crucial that those abdominals are tight. Squeeze them tight. Support your low back here. Slowly come back up to center, keeping the chest lifted, bend the elbows. Slide the strap back behind you, squeezing your upper back, lifting your chin, and press back up. We're gonna do that again. Slide back down in those elbows. Squeeze your upper back. Now hold here and then press the hips forward a little bit, lifting your chest. Really try to press your heart forward towards the camera. Go ahead and bring those eyes back center and lift straight up. We have another side bend right here. See if you can't get a touch deeper, making sure that the move comes from the side and not the arms. Try to keep those even. Lift your eyes. And back to center. Slide those elbows down. Lift your chest. And those eyes. Exhale, press up. And release it down. Go ahead and switch those legs core tight, set up those arms, tuck those hips, lift here, 
and side bend. Pressing into that right hip this time. Opening the chest by lifting your eyes. Asking the shoulders to release by squeezing the upper back. Exhale, come back to center and find that chest opener. Slide down through those shoulder blades. Lift your chin. Good. We're going to exhale, press back up. Do that again. Slide down, open the chest. But this time, let's go straight back up. We have one more side bend here. Press out. See if you can't get a touch deeper into that side bend, taking that hip away. Go ahead and come back to center and slide the elbows down, hold them down, press the hip forward, squeeze the core, lift your eyes. Big breath. Feel the stretch across your chest and exhale, press up and release your strap. Go ahead and set that strap to the side. Pull that knee in, find tabletop position. Tuck those toes and lift up into your down dog. See if you can't press your chest closer to your thighs. Those shoulders should be nice and open. We're gonna roll forward into our plank here. Let's take that left foot, pick it up and bring it forward. Straddle that left leg. Left hand to the outside of your left leg. This might mean you need a block, okay? We're gonna pivot on that back foot. I'm gonna turn away from you for just a second. Open the chest. Press your arm, your right arm out, lift it up and over. Finding that side angle. We are opening the side of the body here. On your exhale, I want you to really rotate through your hips. Place your hand down. Drop into your back knee. You can get rid of that block. Relax your back foot. We're gonna rotate the chest towards our knee now. Extend our arm back and lift it up. Finding length through your spine here. Take that palm, face it away, bend your elbow, take it back behind you. Can you grab your hip here? Squeeze your upper back, open the chest. Give yourself a second here to just kind of settle into it, just to relax. Because we're gonna ask you to get a touch deeper. Now, take that back foot, pick it up off the mat. Flex your foot and bend it. Squeeze your hamstring here. Hold tight, upper back, hamstring. Open the front of the hip, open the chest, eyes to the ceiling. Just settle in it. On your exhale, you're gonna take that back foot, set it down. Release your hand on your left side, pick it back up. Exhale, roll through it. Place your hand down to the inside of your foot and step back into your plank. And lift to down dog, walk it out for me. We're gonna take that right foot forward, set it down. But this time, press into your hips. Come into your wide leg forward fold. Sink down, get those elbows as close as you can to the mat. Let those inner thighs stretch. Then we're gonna inhale, lift our chest. Walk those hands to the back of our mat. Pivot and hold here. Take your hands to the outside of your left leg. Roll open, find your length, inhale, exhale, drop it down, big breath, exhale, step that back foot in, inhale, half lift, 
Exhale, hands down. And step back into your lunge. So hand to the outside of your right foot and roll open, finding that side angle again. Press out and reach long. Hold here, pressing your hips closer to the floor. Think about rolling your upper back towards the floor, dropping your hips. Inhale deep, and on that exhale, pivot forward. Place your hand down, drop into your back knee. Open the chest here. Give yourself a minute. Relax into it. Let the hip open. Relax your back foot. Press out through your arm. Lift. Palm faces away. Bend your elbow. Take it back behind you. Grab a hold of your hip. Hold here. Squeeze the upper back. Twist through your core. Lengthen through the crown of your head, pressing the left hip towards the floor. Now we're going to take that back foot, pick it up off the mat. Flex your foot here and bend your knee. Squeeze the hamstring. That's going to open the front of the hip here. And then twist, eyes to the ceiling. Just hold strong and allow the front of the body to open up. On your exhale, let that back foot come down. Release your hand, extend out. Take it all the way up and over, roll through it, and lift on up. Step back into your plank, and lift into your down dog. Walk it out here. Take that left foot forward and sit back in your hips. Walk those hands to the center, drop into your chest. Allow the inner thigh to open here. So I want you to inhale, lift your chest again. Exhale, drop your elbows to the mat and hold. Let your head relax. Just enjoy it. Inhale, lift your chest, walk your hands to the front and top of your mat, pivot on those feet. Good. We're going to roll open one more time, finding that outside, big breath. And on that exhale, set your hand down and step back into plank. Bend those knees, open those knees, and find your child's pose. We're going to go ahead and roll forward into tabletop and bring those knees under our hips and sit all the way back. Grab one block for me. We're going to lay all the way down onto our mat, taking our block with us. Lift your hips up into bridge and slide that block underneath those hips. Take your hips and actively tuck them under, squeezing those low abdominals. We're going to take those legs straight up here. Flex your feet. Core is nice and tight. You're going to take one leg, start to drop it. Now the goal here is to go as slow as you can and keep the other leg straight up to the ceiling. Can you touch the floor is the question. And as it rises, Squeeze deep in your pelvis. Taking the other leg, you can drop it down as well. Holding stable in that foot that's pointed straight up at the ceiling. Touch the floor and bring it back up. Now if your stabilizing leg starts to drop, then you can't touch the floor. You've gone too far for you. Now to make this a little more challenging, you can move them at the same time, have them meet in the middle. So we're gonna tap, and then as this one starts to rise, I'm gonna to start to drop my other leg. Pressing into those heels, they're gonna meet in the middle. 
and we're gonna just keep going. Slow and controlled. The shake. Whoo! I don't know if you can see me, but my core is shaking like crazy. The goal here is to keep the legs fluid, smooth and slow. Fight it each way. I know. Super shaky. You are almost there. This is all we're doing. For the full three minutes, you are over halfway. So if you need to take a break, please do. But really press. After this, we get to have a stretch and be done. So be proud of the hard work you put in, but don't give up on yourself yet. You're not quite finished. Bring it all the way home. This is where it really counts. This is where you have to really focus. This is it. Bring them all the way back up to center and hold them there. Press into your heels. Squeeze your quads. Bend your knees. Set those feet down. Lift your hips into bridge. Stretch the front of the thigh. Get rid of your block. And slowly release those hips down. Go ahead and grab behind the knees. Pulling those knees to your chest. Just take a moment here. Feel that low back relax. Holding on to one leg. Extend the other one straight out. Pull your knee to your chest here. Maybe start to close your eyes and relax your face. The knee you have, go ahead and release it to 90. Take your opposite hand on the outside of your knee and pull it across your body, extending your opposite arm out to a T, keeping those shoulders down. I want you to inhale deep for me. Feel the pressure build in your hip and your belly. And as you exhale, see if you can get that knee to drop a little closer to the floor. Big breath in. On that exhale, pull your elbow in. Let that knee come back up to center. Pull it to your chest and have the opposite leg come up to meet it. A little rock side to side. Slow your rock to a stop. Extend the opposite leg out, pulling the knee to your chest. Give a minute to relax the hip. And then the knee you have towards your chest, release it to 90. Opposite arm grabs a hold and pulls it across your body. Extend your opposite arm out to a T. Close your eyes. Breathe in deep to your belly. And then ex exhale down. Releasing tension. See if you can't get that knee to drop closer to the floor. But remember those shoulders stay strong on the mat. On your exhale, let's go ahead and pull your knee back up to center. And then to your chest, bring your opposite knee up to meet it. A little rock side to side. Big breath in. And on your exhale, slowly let those knees pull you on up to a seated position. And come center, crossing those knees, crossing those legs, sitting up tall. Allow those hands to rest in your lap. Lengthen your spine here and drop your chin to your chest. As you exhale, I want you to let those shoulders relax. And then nice and easy, let your head roll side to side. Try to find your full range of motion here.
Once you feel even on your neck rolls, I want you to go ahead and hold your chin to your chest. Sit up a little taller. Think about pressing the back of your neck towards the ceiling. Hands come outside those hips. Exhale all, excuse me, all of your air. And on your inhale, slowly start to lift those arms. Lift your eyes. Let your ribs lift. Make your breath last the length. And exhale, press away. I hope you feel great. I hope you feel a lot looser through those hips. And I will see you next time. Bye.